you would think is the no-brainer is don't dump oil into the water. Unfortunately, uh, there are people out there that still illegally dump oil overboard. It's my job to stop it. I've been with the Coast Guard 17 and a half years now. We go out and do inspections every day. Good morning, Captain. Captain. Jim Connolly, United yeah. States Coast Guard. Yeah. Good morning, Captain. What we like to do from here, Captain, is uh, we'll do an examination down in the uh, engine spaces. Okay. We'll actually go down and do a visual inspection of the equipment and then we'll have them do an operational test. And that tells us whether or not they understand their equipment, they know how to use it, and if it's operating correctly. The inspectors are kind of like the workhorse. We understand the equipment, we understand the process, we understand the laws. We're making sure that they're in compliance with MARPOL. Large commercial vessels have waste oil. It's part of how they work. You can't just take that and dump it over the side that has to be put into a holding tank that will later be sent shoreside to a facility. Any overboard discharge has to be through a pollution prevention machine called an oily water separator. Once you get it up to speed, yeah. if you could just give me a minute to take a look around it before we put it in research. Well, Marpol says if you're gonna dump oil, it has to run through filtering equipment, which won't allow more than 15 parts per million oil over the side of the ship oil becomes visible around 100 parts per million. If you can see oil in the water, if you can see an oil slick, you know that it's a violation of Marpol. They were having a hard time getting that oily water separator going. It wasn't operating the way it should. Here we go. Okay. Other than finding that their equipment was having a hard time getting started, operating correctly, we went to check the alarms and sound system. So when that does fail, or when it does go above 15 parts per million and it shuts down, it gives the operating station an uh, alarm. And uh, the alarm wasn't working properly. Just too many red flags. So from there, we're going to start getting a little bit more involved with the process and we're going to lead it to the district attorney so that this way we can uh, make sure there's no criminal activity going on. If a ship is unlawfully dumping, if they're putting their oil in the ocean and that ship comes to the United States, there are records aboard most ships that are going to allow criminal investigators to piece the crime together. This officer is going to review your chart and some other bridge items and okay. I'm going to review the uh, oil record book. Okay. The oil record book that they maintain on board, it's really to show where oil's going from the time that they take it on board the vessel to the time it's off. It's like following the money. So we want to follow the oil. We want to make sure that every, just about every ounce of that oil is accounted for. Obviously nobody's writing down, we're dumping overboard today. One of the early cases that I prosecuted was Royal Caribbean one of the largest cruise ships in the world, cruise lines in the world. And the Norwegian engineers had a name for this book. They called it the Eventerbok, which in Norwegian meant the fairy tale book, because it was a book of lies. It wasn't the book of the truth. And when you come to the United States, this is a condition of port entry. You can't have a ship that doesn't have this book. So if you come here, and your oil record book has been falsified. It's missing all the overboard dumping. It doesn't have it in here. The people who are responsible for that will go to jail. And the company that's responsible for that is going to pay a huge fine. Right, it was over almost 12 hours. Oh, that was the stop time. Right, you start at 0835. Yes. Okay. And that was your position at stop yes. time, right? Yes. Essentially for us, if somebody comes across oily water, we could see if they pass in that area, if it's a possibility that they discharged oil. Every oil has a unique fingerprint. Right. If we match it up, it's prison time for someone. <laughs> 